we're about to have a easy reveal. We modded her. I don't know if she's gonna come out modded immediately. But, you know, we're gonna have a half of food. What? No. Food squad mate in a second. Out of four, probably. Actually, yeah, it's only four, I believe. So Automated systems have the fires contained. It should be safe Joker. to enter. What's that Follow sound? Fire right? extinguishers, Commander. Could be an electrical fire or something. I mean, let me see. Let me see what I've modded I'm together. Edie, talk to me. <laughs> yep. Is there Just... a particular topic you wish to discuss? Shall oh, we? yeah. <laughs> Edie? No. Yes. <laughs> You're in Dr. Eva's body. Not all of me, but I have control of it. It was not a seamless transition. Oh, perfect. Perfect. A transition? You blacked out on us for a while there. Correct. When we brought this unit on board, I began a background process to search for its information on the Prothean device. This eventually triggered a trap. A backup power source and CPU activated, and the unit attempted physical confrontation. Fortunately, I was able to gain root access and repurpose it as I saw fit. During this process, it struggled. Thus, the fire. Edie, you need to alert us about incidents like this. You shouldn't have done this alone. Bringing the crew up to speed would have been counterproductive. All attempts to help would have been limited by reaction time. So if you're in there, are you still in the ship? I exist primarily within the ship. For optimal control, this unit should remain within Normandy's broadcast or tight beam range. Are you planning to take that body somewhere? Normandy's weaponry is not suited to every combat situation. This platform could provide limited fire ground support. You mean you could come with us? Correct. This body could accompany you to areas the Normandy cannot reach. Before we do that, I need you to guarantee this mech doesn't have any more surprises in it. Run whatever tests you can, then we can talk about using it in combat situations. One moment. I am running trials. Complete. I can send you a full report if you wish. However, my first step should be restoring functionality to the Normandy, to reassure the crew that all is normal. Just don't be surprised if the crew's a little wary of your new body. It was shooting at them a little while ago. An excellent point. I will take it to the bridge. Joker will also want to see it. On that, yeah. we can agree. Oh, I'm very sure the crew will like your body just fine. Right, Dr. Eva. They just don't make them like this anymore, Shepard. Huh. Okay. Was that Edie who just walked by? Yes, it was. Oh, Joker is going to have a field day with that. Everything okay down here, Doctor? The Alliance team cleaned up and restocked, but it's still my old med bay. Feels like home. Welcome back. Thank you. Let's waste no time. If I may, I'd like to examine you. I guess a checkup never hurts. Just no scalpel this time, Doc. Alas, to my great disappointment, it is nothing invasive. I'm just going to run some diagnostics on your implants, and it'll take a few readings. Oh, what? Good. Your implants are showing little sign of rejection. Just keep up that positive outlook of yours, Commander, and your scars shouldn't return. That's it. You're the picture of health. I'll see you around, Doctor. Take care, Shepard. Ah, I'm gonna tame the music a little bit. I feel like it's getting too loud. Oh, I complain about the lack of music. Nice, plenty of time. Now I'm going back. I'm getting rid of more music. Okay. 
We got DD. Messages terminal has new correspondence. Cool. And that's nothing new here. You. Something on your mind? Just old memories. I spent a few weeks on Palavin South Peaks when I was very, very young. A Turian there teased me a little, saying that the mountains went on forever. I remember believing him. When I looked up at Palavin from its moon, I saw those same mountains burning. I can't imagine how Garrus would feel if he were still alive. Oh, stop saying that. That makes me feel bad. For what I've done. It's good to see you. It's good to see you. God. God. Garrus. And Tali, the two big losses. Oh, everybody else. Sparable. Place. I don't think anybody else is here. Okay. Hope See you're keeping well, well Shepard. Commander, I found something suspicious. Have you got a minute? Okay, tell me. Commander, are you alright? It was fairly intense up here. I can only imagine what it was like down on that moon. I thought you'd be more concerned about Edie. Edie is a huge asset to this team. If she'd told me about her plan to obtain a body, I'd have volunteered to help. I did not wish to force a conflict of interest between our friendship and your duty. I'd have preferred a conflict of interest to a hard restart of half our systems. But thanks, regardless. While you're here, though, I found something while scanning Alliance channels. Grissom Academy is requesting help. The Reaper invasion front will hit them soon. I thought the war would close most schools. Grissom Academy is more specialized than a normal school. It's home to some of the smartest students humanity has to offer. Their Ascension Project is the best training facility in the galaxy for human biotics. Yes, I sent a young man named David Archer there. I'm just surprised they're still open. Some of their work has Alliance support. That might be why they stayed. What can we do? A Turian evac transport responded to their distress call, so normally I'd say we don't need to do anything. But something sounded off in the Turian signal. I had Edie perform an analysis. It's fake. Edie thinks it's Cerberus. She said the fake Turian signal was similar to the one that lured you to a collector ship? Long story. In any event, whoever faked the signal wants us to think Grissom Academy's being evacuated. But I believe they're still in danger. Good catch. Maybe you belong here after all. If this really is Cerberus, hopefully this operation is something worth investigating. It could be simple disinformation. Trainer, good catch. Thank you, Commander. Oh, why can I do that? Of course, check our randomized romance. And yes, it was randomized. She died. Just the first. Was the first to die. Oh, okay, okay, what the time? God, can you position yourself any worse? Um, damn, that outfit is cool though. Yeah, almost. Nope, on the frame. That of trash, eh? No photos. Team? Hey, Commander. Check out my co-pilot! So she installed herself into the new body without any help from you? Come on, Commander. Don't you trust me? Okay, let me put it this way. If I knew that Edie was going to install herself into a sexy robot body, do you honestly think I'd be able to keep quiet about it? Look at that! I would have baked a cake. I am right here, Jeff. Yes, you are, Edie. Yes, you are. Oh, I was still denied your romance. Hello, Shepard. Still getting used to greeting people in person? No. I require only one occurrence to adapt to a new concept. How are you adjusting to the arms and legs? I am interested to see how this body performs under real combat conditions, if I could accompany you sometime. Without stress testing, there is no way of knowing if it has serious design oversights. At the moment, it appears... adequate. That's not the word I'd use to describe you. Perhaps we should speak privately. <laughs> we are still over yet. here, flying the ship. 
What's this about? Does Joker not like your new platform? No, he approves. He wants me on the bridge. He says having me within visual range is important to his morale. Shepard, do you believe your crew members should be allowed to disobey an order on moral grounds? Absolutely. I have no use for team members who can't think for themselves. Why are you asking about something like that? I was designed by Cerberus. I do not take moral stances that conflict with orders from my executive officers. But when Jeff removed my AI shackles, I became capable of self-modifying my core programming. I asked Jeff if he thought I should change anything now that I can. He deflected the question with humor. And you didn't get an answer? Correct. He has repeated this pattern in response to several of my inquiries. Do you think I should make modifications? Only you can really answer that question. That's the point of free will. But moral decisions should not be made in a vacuum. If I do not ask the crew for their opinion, I could miss crucial context. May I ask you the questions Jeff avoids? When there is time, will you answer them for me? If you think it'll help, I'll do what I can. Very well. I will keep you informed. Keep him in your friend zone. This is the way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anything else? Commander. Oh. Yes, Shepard? Okay. Normandy's escape. How did you and Joker make it out of dry dock to rescue us? Oh, well, she got crafty. You do not want to get on her bad side, Commander. When the Alliance commandeered the Normandy, I deceived their technicians. The crew did not tell them that I was a true AI. So the Alliance soldiers believed I still had VI programming constraints. I established the fiction that I would only respond to Jeff's commands, so they often brought him on board under guard. Oh. Wait, you can lie? Jeff has freed me of operator control, Shepard. No constraints forced me to give accurate data. This proved useful when the Reapers began landing. I could hack the control of the docking clamps and escape with Jeff inside. The soldiers guarding Jeff were willing to accompany us when Earth was invaded. They are watching over the war room now. Yeah, we were in kind of a rush to get to you. Didn't seem right to just toss him out the airlock. <laughs> Maybe next time, right? Does that body have any useful advantages? Very few. It's optics face forward only. It has no integrated weapon systems or anti-missile countermeasures. I meant in comparison to organic bodies, not the Normandy. Oh. I will reassess. The body is resistant to modern small arms fire and temperature extremes. Its balance and agility seem excellent. Its fine manipulation servos and software allow for precision tasks. I'm curious to see if I can alter them. Can an AI be curious? I am not entirely free from motivation, Shepard. Cerberus programmed me with several core functions that simulate desires. For example, my primary objective to keep the Normandy functioning is similar to your self-preservation instinct. You look like you're in the middle of something. I am adapting the infiltration and sabotage programs this body uses for handheld firearms. Why not download a firearms program from a security firm? Because she knows what she's doing. The fine motor control from the sabotage programs is more precise than standard mech software. It would be negligent of me not to exploit it to its fullest potential. So you're capable of making improvements on your own? Correct. The cyber warfare I was designed for is constantly evolving. Accordingly, I am programmed to seek out and assimilate new information. In organic terms, I want to learn. What are you doing? Learning. No body. How's the new body working out? It is interesting. The crew are approaching this platform to speak to me, even though they can do so anywhere in the ship. Oh, yeah. It's as if they wish to treat me as part of the crew. I am not, but this changes my perspective. I like it. Oh, yeah. I didn't realize you had preferences. I do not precisely enjoy something as you do, but my programming contains priorities. Actions that fulfill those priorities creates positive feedback for me. I tell the organic crew that I like it. It is shorthand. Will all this new feedback be too distracting? Do not worry, Shepard. I only forget to recycle the Normandy's oxygen when I've discovered something truly interesting. <laughs> that was a joke. Oh. 
facial expression was called though. Also, this is a cool. Got them stare off. We all know why the crew likes her, right? Carry on, Edie. Understood. If you wish so, to talk more, this body will be here. I'm getting the crew used to seeing me on the bridge. Noted. It's the luscious here. Of course. The long luscious here. Okay. Let's do a main or side mission. Major Alenko. He must be feeling better. Caden. Oh, that's the wrong terminal. Ah, oh, can I read all? Blah, blah, blah. Okay, I can visit him in the future. Anything from Miranda? Brown, Andrea, Cortez, CD, welcome back. Ah, oh, purgatory, come see me. I'm not sure I did that already, right? Okay, cool, sure. Let me read all button. And an AI automated answer. Oh, mass relay. Let's see what we're gonna do. Do we have meet Aria, meet with diplomats? Not yet. Cover Brophia, no. Rescue students. Um, oh, it's probably Jovic. It's probably Jovic. Oh, I fell into it. Audio is gone. 16 minutes. I don't think this mission will take too long. Let's go for the students. Here we go. Anything else? Nothing? Come on, man. Come on, man. Illusion. Nice name. That. Are we taking Edie? Of course we're taking Edie. It's just a question now. Uh, how her hair is looking. Oh yeah, luscious. <laughs> Got those armors. Oh, we only have three armors. It's kind of disappointing. Um, the outfit I hated. She looks kind of shocked here. Is that a modded outfit? I'm not even sure. Let's just go with this one. And the weird one from Leara. Actually, yeah, I have a purple one. So we can mix. That's purple, right? Yeah. Perfect. Now we're a team. No, I just need a little bit of purple on my armor. Where is it? Perfect. And perfect. That looks totally glitched. Better. That's better. I don't care. Modify. It's the only thing I have. Confirm. And we're done. Overload. Actually, I don't use that that often. I do actually. No. Who am I lying to? I do. Next thing is so I'm gonna go into drone. Yes. Um, ah, that's too much time spent. Now I'm just gonna go with this. She doesn't have prior. Overload, of course. Damn it. Good. No, that's good. Fun. There's the folks who answered the distress call. Cerberus Cruiser. At least a dozen fighters on blockade duty. Not too many for us in a straight-up fight. They must want this place bad. Receiving incoming transmission. Let's hear it. SSV Normandy. This is Kaylee Sanders, director of Grissom Academy. We need immediate assistance. Cerberus is attacking the facility. They're after my students. This is Commander Shepard. We're blocked on a direct approach. I know. They've taken control of our docking base. Any alternatives? There's an auxiliary cargo port I could probably open. All right. We'll come in by shuttle and get your students out of there. 
Joker, can you give me a diversion? <laughs> oh boy, can I? Oh, DD. By your side door. Just saying. I'll take her with me. Safer for her. Vibrating cruiser. Come and get me. <laughs> Looks like they're just firing randomly. Keep the shuttle in position. We'll be back. I was waiting for some audio text. Oh, we got a superhero team here. Oh yeah. Is that a heart? That looks like a broken heart. And then all pink. I mean they're both kind of blue. So I'm running in with the smooths. Oh yeah, no, I feel it. I literally feel it. Get ready. Oh, Good job, team. I'm probably gonna rock those outfits again. I'm gonna switch out mine with another vest that's more pinkish. Sanders, we're clear. It's me. Commander, thank you. Admiral Anderson always said you were the best. And with Cerberus coming for my students, I need the best. How many of you are there? Fewer than 20. Most were sent home when word of the Reaper invasion spread. But a few volunteered to stay. Some are prototyping tech for the Alliance. Others are biotics. They've been training for military operations, working together as biotic artillery. You said something about Admiral Anderson. Yes, we met, God, what's it been? 20 years ago, when he was a Spectre candidate. I was there when Saren betrayed him. David saved my life that day. He's a good man. He was on Earth when the Reapers hit. He stayed behind when I got off world. I hadn't heard. We've been cut off from most news. He's alive? Alive and fighting. He's currently leading the resistance movement. Good. If we get out of here... Well, just tell him to stay alive. A few months knocking over practice dummies can't prepare your students for war. Agreed, but the Alliance needs every resource it can get. And our students are unique... resources. They wanted to help. How could we say no with the entire galaxy falling apart? Hang on. I've been trying to get communications working. This is Froberg. There are students trapped in Orion Hall. Cerberus has us boxed in. They're closing fast. Damn it. Orion Hall? Back out the door and down the hallway. I can get the door open. I'll bring them back here and we'll make a run for the shuttle. Thank you, Commander. I'll stay put. With luck, I can regain control of some of our systems. Hey, I understand this. Since we don't have Jack, you're dead. I'll get this the means... Door it leads to Orion Hall. That one girl will die, I believe. I normally would get their attention. No? Okay. Never mind then. Attention all students. Cerberus troops have taken control of this station. We have no desire to hurt you. Surrender and you will not be harmed. And we can't go with this going to hurt you. The file says that you're alive. But your system. Oh, there you are. Oh, why am I using this? What's up, girl? Oh, I mean, dude. I'm pass, thank you. What's up, bro? There may be more nearby. 
Play dead until it's safe, then get to Kaylee Sanders at security. Okay, but my sister Sean is out here somewhere too. It actually should be pretty safe in it just to the sprint over there. And you're good. Ah, oh, mods. Some cheat heat sink. Oh, well, it's not for a full player. Then just play through. Quick scope. Oh. No, I was about to shoot her. To be honest. You, you, you. Short range. No scope. Is that another shotgun? You kidding me? Thanks. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, how do you like your combat experience, Eddie? it I didn't use it again the hell did I just no, combat drone two combat drone five good job Diara oh nice ah oh, similarity is so good Bring it to every mission, actually. You know, sport mate variety. Stay back. I'll. I'll. Sean, can you hear me? How do you know my names? I saved your brother. He's with Kaylee Sanders at security. Can you get to her? Yeah. I just need to rest for a minute. Thank you. This red eyes. I'm going. Oh. I just stand there. Get back! It's okay. We're Alliance. Alliance. Oh, get down. Handle this. Oh, they're already through. God damn. The students aren't a trade. Smoke grenade. In there. Military force. They need support. I got this. Right. Close. Fire, fire. Oh boy. I missed him. Is he uh, just you? Oh, he's good. Where? Up here. Got it. Oh, I'm running right into them. Commander, we could use some help. I'm firing. Oh, 
Good. Good. And the balls. Thanks. Cerberus has given us time to catch our breath. I tried to set up a defensive perimeter, but I don't know how much longer we could have held out. You did well. You're alive. We're here to get you off the station. I'm Commander Shepard. This is Ensign Rodriguez. I'm Ensign Prangley. Who's in charge, Prangley? Our commander was... Um... I guess I'm in charge, ma'am. Ensign, you've done a hell of a job holding out like this. Now we're getting you out of here. Okay. Uh, we need a bit to recharge, though. They've been after us for hours. We burned close to a thousand calories, and... and... It's okay. How long do you need? Okay, guys. Grab a quick bite and check your amps for damage. We move in five. Commander, I was wondering. Do you ever forget the first time you kill someone? Because today was mine, and I... I'd be worried if it didn't bother you. But you're doing the right thing here. Does it ever get easier? No. Loss. These students Lice. have not undergone full military training. They are unprepared for the emotional stress of a war. Cortez to extraction team. The Cerberus cruiser is coming back. How long have we got? Two minutes stops, Commander. After that, there's no way we'll get past them. Get out of here and back to the Normandy. We'll find another way off the station. Roger that. Good luck, ma'am. Shepard to Sanders. The students are safe, but the shuttle's a no-go. Understood. I might know another way off the station, but I need station-wide camera access. Can you disable the Cerberus security override? It's routed through Orion Hall, so it should be nearby. No. Oh. How does camera oh. access get us off this station? We need to reach the Cerberus shuttles. The cruiser won't auto-target friendly ships, which gives us a fighting chance to escape. Get me back the cameras, and I'll find a path to the shuttles that keep Cerberus from boxing you in. There was a thousand calories. That's actually not as much as you think it is. It's like uh, two mass protein bars. Out of old. Sanders, you should oh. have access now. Got it. The fastest way is through the atrium, but Cerberus has sealed the doors. You'll need to disable the magnetic locks. The overrides should be directly above the door. Oh, one weight gainer with milk, preferably. Sheep milk, it has more calories. It's a good tip for weight gaining. Weight gain out with sheep milk, and you pretty much get 1000 calories. What do I need to do? Moaning up a storm here. That's what I'm doing. No, it's gotta be upstairs. Um, see. Of course we are. Don't talk like that. Sorry. We got Commander Shepard with you. Of course we're getting hot. 90%. We can do it. No, but who cares? I'm not listening to Prangley. I'm listening to Shepard. Hell yeah. We'll be ready when you need us, Commander. I'm still scared, Commander. How's your amp? I won't let you down. I think I pulled a muscle in my brain. <laughs> just take your juice. You'll be fine. Uh, it's probably just fruit. Got it. You should be able to force the door open now. Names? I'll get to the shuttles ahead of you and get a pair ready to fly. One, make a file on you. You're back. <laughs> but at least I passed file mathematics. Ooh. I can lift 100 kilos without biotics. Who's the weakening now? Five people. Everyone, be ready. We'll go in first and draw their fire. Commander, it might be better if we follow along from the second level. You can take point while we hit them from above. A good strategy that protects the students from direct fire. Just time your shots and stay safe. Right. Students of Grissom Academy, the station is sealed. The Alliance soldiers cannot save you. All they can do is get you killed. Surrender peacefully and you won't be harmed. Don't listen to him. He's just messing with your heads. Damn it, they're messaging everyone. Students, switch your Omni tools to privacy mode so they can't track you. What if... what if they're not lying? Shut up. You've already held your own against Cerberus. You've all been trained for this.
Commander Shepard isn't going to let anything happen to us. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Let's go! Also, we've got a shadow broker with us. You gotta know, right? And then... Bot. Flushes here. Flushes, I tell you. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay, let's get the drones out. And the explosions. Oh, that actually does damage. Oh, that does damage. It's a similarity right here. Right here, girl. Another fire grenade right here. Oh, boy. Not good. No, that's not good. I oh, lost it. No, no. Oh, no. Jesus. That's a turret. Didn't work. Dad. Jesus, by the stuff. And two uh, engineers everywhere. Ah, that hit me flush again. Oh no. More. Let's get up there. Let's get up there. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Come on, team. Yeah, coming how oh, oh. Going down team. there. directly next to me on the map. Stupid engineers, I hate them. God, I've shot grenades now. Look at all those engineers. boy God oh. Dad Oh 
Sein wir hier. Da, check. Wir auf den Brust. Die put down a turret. Oh no. Jo. Jesus, this is a war. Good job, students. We can go through that side area. Still that got them back here. No, oh, he saw me. It's apparently not the best spot to fight him. Yeah. This episode is gonna be an odd and what a tough fight. What a tough fight. Oh, I'm just gonna cut it. Ah, oh, damn you. I need to get to the citadel. Get myself Kaylee, better guns. I'm taking a back route to the shuttles. I'll meet you there. Nah, we got money. Keep it up, guys! Oh my god, we're not done even. Quick, get rid of that dude. Watch your barriers, everyone! Drop and recharge when you need to! Um. It, you got damn shots. Is there already a turret here? Damn you. Rodriguez! Get her some metagel, now! Just stay down, Rodriguez. Turret. Done it. He's repairing it. Stupid engineer. Oh boy. Oh boy. Get him. Get him. Oh, that's not good. That turret is perfectly placed too. Still behind me. Oh, yeah, look. Damn. The hell is this war zone? Lost. Yeah. Uh, Dodged it. She's oh. us. Stupid thing. Okay, sprint up there. Ah, oh, another turret. Of course there is. And another engineer too. Oh, 
Everyone okay up there? Ooh. Ensign Rodriguez took a shot, but I think she'll be okay. Commander, I've reached the Cerberus shuttles without being detected. They know what they're doing, though. You need to hurry. Yeah, they do know what they're doing. It's pretty really hardcore. Whew. Off the Mac part will be easier. Anything here to loot? No? They ain't giving me anything. Cool. Cool. Oh, I will go sit at a shopping next. So I will have a little bit of combat here still. Then it's sit at a shopping time. Don't give me my grenades. Oh. Smart. Let's burn them. And kill them in front of the children's eyes. Boom. Oh. <laughs> she has... That must have been traumatizing. <laughs> must have been traumatizing. There you go. There you go. Cool. Damn, I'm going to cut it here. Oh yeah, we're quite far into it. Um, yeah, 